in a while. But uh, just hoping that like some feminist lobbyist group doesn't you know pick up that story or get picked up by the mainstream media. It'll be torn apart. Sarah Tool! I bring tidings of doom. Sarah Tool. I have pierced the veil of the future and beheld only oblivion. Yet one spark of hope remains. You will hold her life in your hands. And though justice demands that she die for her crimes, only she can save us. Wait a second. You're talking about Kerrigan. It's been four years. You show up out of nowhere. Time is oh. short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. Damn. Nice to see you too. It's a pretty shitty thing to tell me, Zero Tool. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. I've heard of these Ehon crystals before. Supposedly they allow you to relive another person's memories. But if Zero Tool's uncovered, he was desperate for me to see it too. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, I guess we can see what that's all about. Raynor, the hounds of the void are closing in. I impart my memory, my very essence, into this Ihan crystal, so that you will see what I have seen, and that the future may yet have hope. Okay. Sarah Tool. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Friend Raynor, long has it been since we stood together against the swarm. Since then, I have wandered the void in solitude. Seeking an ancient prophecy, rumored to foretell the return of the Zelnaga. My sojourn led me to a remote world known as Ulan. Where I discovered fragments of the prophecy, yet I was not the first to find them. It falls to you now, old friend, to relive my memories and believe. Okay. Or do 
to destroy. this place, Kerrigan. Do you hear them, Zeratu? Whispering from the stars. The galaxy will burn with their coming. Perhaps. But you won't live to see it. Oblivion together. Never. Wow, no one really makes cutscenes or cinematics like Blizzard does, do they? Like, that was just awesome. Some <laughs> pretty killer stuff. I guess a lot of people will say that, that Blur makes pretty good cutscenes. They're the guys who did the, uh, old, both Old Republic cutscenes and they recently did, a, uh, or sorry, cinematics, CGs, CG, uh, you know, cinematics or trailers or whatever. They did both the trailers for Old Republic, like I was saying, and they also did a recent one for uh, DC Universe Online, which is pretty sweet. But no one can really you know, compare to Blizzard, because that, that was just fantastic. But I've always, I've always wondered a couple things. Like, um, why does uh, Zero Tool cover his like front with a cloth? Like, because Protoss communicate telepathically, I, I believe, and... Um, so they essentially they don't really have mouths. So why does he wear the the cloth thing? He's not he doesn't have anything to cover. I will be redeemed. I will fulfill my calling. The prophecy was divided into fragments. 
each kept at separate shrines. I must gather them and depart this world quickly. Uh, okay. How am I supposed to get across? This no. chasm is vast. It is fortunate that I can phase through the shadows to the other side. So we can blink, just like stalkers. My allegiance is yours. Man. Zeratul's a pretty uh, badass mofo. I mean, he's <laughs> his attack does a hundred damage, and then uh, 152 armor. Spore crawlers can detect my presence. I should stun them with my void prism. Also, um, I'm kind of confused that this whole prophecy, like, are the Zelnaga coming to kill us? Because, like, seriously, it, it in the first StarCraft, like, the man, like, the manual that came with that game was like a friggin' opus. Like, it was like a novel and it gave you so much backstory and so much insight onto, you know, the origins of all the species and everything. And that spore crawler can detect me from across the chasm. It must be destroyed. And you know, it talked about how uh, the Zelnaga created both the Protoss and the Zerg. That overseer can see through my cloak. I'd best stun it with my void prison before crossing this chasm. And uh, they kind of gave up on the Protoss for some reason. I can't remember exactly why. The first fragment of the prophecy. Soon all will be made clear. Why not surrender yourself to oblivion, Zeratul? Wouldn't it be better to end your struggle now than witness the final agonizing moments of your species? The foreboding prophecy. So much for Kerrigan's reprieve. Command. For Shakuras. Glory to the But yeah, anyway, uh, the Zelnaga created Greetings, Protoss. Exalted One. Uh, we are here in the service of High Templar, Karas. He is nearby. Your presence is most welcome. Let us keep moving. Anyway, now hopefully I can. No, nope, never mind. Us to destroy their defenses before we proceed. Of Yeah, shook dash to lock. To I was just thinking that. Well. Anyway, Zelnaga created Protoss and the Zerg. Gave up on the Protoss, uh, I believe, because there was they had like a, a, a internal civil war or something, and they're like, oh no, so they're having a civil war. This, you know, sad face, frowny face. So then they 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 went off, and then they created the Zerg. And they did, you know, significantly better with them until eventually the Zerg, they didn't know that they were created by the Zelnaga. And then they noticed their, like, fleet uh, near their planet and they thought it was an enemy fleet, so they destroyed it and, and essentially killed them. So the, what I'm thinking... That patrol of brood lords must be dealt with cautiously, or we will be torn asunder. Oh, yes, very sad. So what I'm thinking is, why would we be so worried if the Zelnaga returned, considering that the you know Zerg were able to own them pretty pretty easily when they weren't even you know fully evolved, didn't have all the cool toys that they have now. Hey, hey. 